Hey, what's going on, you guys? It is Cameron, or Lace Rapper here, and this is episode 18 of my Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Guide series. Today, we'll be looking at the assault rifle known as the AK-12, made by Kalashnikov. And this gun does follow its family name, and it is very powerful and carries lots of those traits, but some of them are replaced and some of them are improved, so let's get into it and see some of the stats about this gun. So, the AK-12 is a fully automatic assault rifle with high damage and an improved design for less recoil. This is the description from the game, and as I usually say, take it with a grain of salt, but I honestly do think that this is completely correct. This gun does not need a grip, although I strongly recommend one as it does help at further distances, and it's kind of better to have one overall just for the extra accuracy, range, and all that stuff. So it's definitely recommended to have a grip. And putting that aside, this gun has a magazine capacity at around 30 rounds or 45 with the extended. I honestly don't believe you do need extended, but if you want to get some more firepower you know, down the range, or you're going for some feeds, Whatever it may be, go ahead and put one on, it won't hurt. I would say it's not really necessary, but it's not going to be the worst attachment in the game. And with that, this gun has a rate of fire of around 689 rounds per minute, and it has a re reload speed of around 3.6 seconds. And this is when you're completely out of ammo. It's around 10% faster at 3.3 seconds when you're still having a mm, ammunition in your gun. And this gun costs around 7 squad points to unlock, and it's one of the first on the assault rifle list. It was originally a bit cheaper, but in the last update, they believed it should be more points, so that's why it's gone up. And it's kind of funny it's out of place. It goes from 7 to 6 back to 7 on the list. But putting that aside, let's head down to the range and see how this gun fares at different distances in the range. Alright, so we're going to start off at close range. And using this gun at close range, which occurs at around 20 feet or 7 meters for those unfamiliar with my videos, it takes around 2 shots to the head or 3 to the body to get a kill using this gun if you have no attachments equipped. Now moving on to a bit more medium distance, we discover that there is no damage drop off, and with that, it is still 2 headshots, or 3 shots to the body to get a kill using this AK-12. This occurs around 50 feet or 16 meters. Now onto 100 feet or 32 meters, there is damage drop off, and it takes 3 headshots or 4 to the body to get a kill using the AK-12, and that's still pretty good, there's very little damage drop off. And here we see at 150 feet or 48 meters, there's none changing, and it's 3 to the head or 4 to the body, I do think I missed one in the head, but alright. I kind of do point it out, it is 3 still to the head, so there's no damage drop off at that point. Now onto the custom class for the AK-12, this is a very strong gun and it does not need a grip as I mentioned, but I strongly recommend it so you can get those further downrange shots, it does help the gun quite a bit, and I do think the muscle break is also very effective. Using these two you get extra accuracy, range, and damage, those muscle break and the grip make it a good gun for the longer distances, which it wouldn't be normally great for. But this reduced recoil is very helpful, with the grip it's I'm not going to say it's practically non-existent, but it's very little. So it's a very useful gun at medium to long distances. It's not the best for close range, and its hip fire is kind of spread out. And in my perks, I don't have steady aim, but you can always put it on if you wish to spray and pray around the corners and whatnot. And for the secondary, we have MP443 Gretsch. And for this gun, we have a very simple attachment, you know, just to keep this whole thing going so you can have pretty good results at close range. And that attachment is simply, but nothing other than akimbo. This way you can have two, you can just spray and pray, you know, whatever it may be. It makes up for the close range, like, crap that the AK-12 has. And we have a simple 9-bang, it's really nice to have, you know, good grenade, good everything, you know, cook it, it comes in EMP. No lethal needed for this gun, I honestly don't think it needs one. You also don't need a secondary, you could have more perks, put on a launcher, whatever it may be. This gun is fine by itself. So let's move on to the perks and discover why these are chosen, because I honestly think they're pretty great for my purpose. I have sleight of hand and quick draw on, pretty self-explanatory, you want to be able to reload fast, aim down fast, I see it's actually very beneficial to heal fast using this gun, and I discovered hardline very useful. But some other good perks to have are three attachments, last shield, and steady aim, this way you can you know, aim down, <laughs> now aim, get high accuracy and whatnot. And those perks are just pretty optional and they might work great for you. Now to wrap things up, I honestly believe that this AK-12 is a pretty good weapon. The high damage is a great continuation of this Kalashnikov legacy that has been around for many games, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, 3, whatever game the AK has been, it's always been powerful, kind of slow, but that's kind of good, you know, with the high recoil, it's good to have the opposites, but now you have the moderate recoil, and it's still just kind of slow, but it's faster than the previous game, so that's what. And unlike its predecessors, the recoil is tolerable, as I just mentioned, and it is pretty well of a weapon at further ranges, and I think it excels quite well. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say well, but with the right setup, the AK-12 can prove to be an all-round killing machine. And I say this with a kind of a grain of salt. It's not the best thing at close quarter battles, but you can always put steady aim on, or just put a pistol, that's what I have. I think an akimbo pistol is a great like swap out for that. It's honestly up to you. 
and that's why this gun receives a 4.5 out of 5 rating. This is mainly due to the moderate recoil and the iron sights may not be the best, so you might want to swap them out, but it's not necessary. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.